So if you could just introduce us and tell, you, tell us what you're doing. I'm Titus Alexander, I'm father of a nine-year-old and uh, I coordinate something called Democracy Matters but also I was involved in about 15 years ago setting up uh, what's now Parenting UK and so I'm particularly interested in the role of parents as a child's first educator and how we support parents in that. And what first attracted you to the Save Child Basically the importance of putting it up on the political agenda are also the fact that it is a movement and that there are lots of different ways and different people doing things around the ground, on the ground. So I think it's really great to see people sharing that uh, through the stalls and the conversations as well as the talks. Uh, I wasn't able to be here yesterday but uh, today, this morning. It was also good to hear from Reg Bailey about being able to influence and I think one of the things that we need to do now is to look at how do we influence both local and national government and organisations, particularly around the support for parents as a child's first educator, because families are our most important places of learning for good or ill, and uh, parents, all parents want to do the best, and it's finding ways of supporting them, because when things go wrong, they can be tragic for both parents and children, and there are a lot of things to do, we can do, but we need to give parents time and support and uh, encouragement to do what's best for their children. Could you pick out a particular high point so far? Um, well, as I say, partly it's just seeing so many different people, all the different things, hearing it. I wasn't here yesterday, uh, but uh, as I say, it's the, this issue of how do you influence decision makers round, and so that's why, for me, the particular one was uh, Reg Bailey, because he has influenced in quite a short space of time and I think that's something that we, you know, the movement as an organisation needs to think about because it is such a complex uh, arena with so many powerful vested interests, uh, particularly the re retailers and um, you know, marketisation of all of that. And I think that you know, very much is, needs to be addressed. And if you could do one thing in the future, what would you expect? <coughs> well, I think it's round how do we focusing on support for parents as educators and uh, so that parents have time from their work for example looking at really good uh, parental leave so that parents uh, can get help and support and encouragement for what they do because uh, in their role as parents and uh, be recognized in the education system i mean children spend less than 15 percent of waking time in school between naught and 16 and yet, uh, parents, so parents are responsible for 85% of the time, but have almost no support uh, or you know, help in that side. So for me, that's the most important thing, is how do we support parents as educators? And do you think that we're living today with a feeling of pessimism or optimism? I think with optimism. I mean, it has a sense of uh, uh, a growing grassroots movement. Um, and, uh, you know, like a mushroom, the biggest part of the mushroom is underground. 